expect on Thursday. Well, it's going to be cool out there today, Patrick, but we're going to finally see some sunshine through the daytime. And in fact, already this morning, we're waking up to clear skies and some cooler temperatures from the last couple of mornings. The other thing to note about today is the uh, gusty breezes that will be in place through most of the daytime, but I am not expecting any rainfall. So that's a nice change from what we've been experiencing over the last couple of days. In terms of your conditions from our city cam, skies are clear. It's a little moon and starlight out there on my drive in. This morning it's 47 degrees feels like 43 with the winds there from the west sustained at about eight miles an hour, but some higher gusts and we're this morning going to see some gusts as high as 20 to 30 miles an hour at times. It should diminish a bit as the afternoon goes on about 45 in Smithfield 47 right now. Providence upper 40s, Newport Westerly and New Bedford. Here's the wind chills feels like 39 right now in Smithfield 44 in New Bedford, 44 in Newport and 46 in Westerly. So it's brisk, cool and sunny for the bus stop this morning, 42 to about 50 degrees. Even with a lot of sunshine today, those temperatures are going to remain cooler than normal. Sunny, breezy and dry about 57 to 61 for the high temperature between 2 and 3.30 this afternoon. So the south coast, I'm putting highs right around 60 Charlestown and Newport. Winds from the west at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Block Island close to 60, similar in Coventry. Abundant sunshine, but breezy and cool. And we're still going to be a little on the gusty side at times through Burrowville. Highs only in the upper 50s. I have Foster Center also at 58 with lots of sunshine. Normal high is mid 60s, so we're still going to be cooler than average. Fall River, New Bedford at about 61. Seekonk near 61 degrees. So good visibility on the bay. Winds from the west at 15 to at times 25 knots. Wave height will be a little bit choppy, so one to two feet. High tide at five this evening, low tide 1035 this morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at the future cast. Actually, we're going to do a closer view for you and we'll start it off at 7 o'clock this evening. We've got a cold front that's going to move through tomorrow. Overnight, though, still expecting clear skies, so you wake up to some sunshine on Friday morning. It's overall going to be a partly sunny day on Friday. It's a fairly fast moving front by about midday. We'll bring in a chance of a spring Spot passing shower. It doesn't last long. That's the front sweeping through and it's going to lead to very chilly conditions Friday night. In fact, the National Weather Service just this morning issued a freeze watch for only northwestern Rhode Island right now where you could dip below freezing for a few hours late Friday night and Saturday morning. Frost is possible though across much of our area, so I do expect some additional advisories to be issued for the rest of southeastern New England. These are some of the forecasted low temperatures for late Friday night. 29 in Smithfield, 33 in Providence, maybe upper 20s, parts of Bristol County, Mass, uh, 31 in Westerly. So those are the coldest temperatures we've seen so far this season. And the hope is that it would kill off the mosquitoes and uh, diminish our threat of seeing those West Nile and Triple E cases. So quick shower tomorrow, about 59. Cool Saturday, 55, but lots of sunshine, milder.